Hey people, welcome to the planet Mars. Well, it's actually the Utah desert. However, the guys behind the new movie The Martian kindly invited me to visit this place. Specifically to the Mars Society Desert Research Station, which is a facility run by scientists where they research about the possibilities of living on Mars. And here I am, stranded, just like Mark Watney in the film. Well, kind of. Now, if there's one thing I'm going to need in this place, as well as food and air, it's water. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make water in the same kind of way that Mark Watney would have had to do it on Mars. Now the guys at the research station have kindly set up this nice demonstration for me to show you how it's done. So let's go through the apparatus you'll need. We'll be creating water by burning hydrogen, so a compressed tank of hydrogen will be needed. We'll also use a condenser glass to collect the water. The red thing is used as a weight to keep it in place. Now this spiral tubing contraption attached to the clamp is used to help cool the mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. There's also a small valve on the left hand side which is where I'll be attaching the hydrogen flow. The hydrogen and oxygen will be burnt in this large flask which will be placed upside down on top of the contraption. We'll also use a fan to help with the cooling process. and a vacuum to help suck through the water. Right, let's get to it. First of all, I placed the large flask over the cooling tube and hydrogen valve. I placed the other side of the tube with the rubber stopper into the top of the condenser flask. Then I attached the pump to the condenser flask. Just need to attach the hydrogen line and then turn on the fan and the pump and we're ready to go. I allowed a small amount of hydrogen to start flowing from the tank. Now comes the dangerous part, igniting the hydrogen. Luckily for me, it didn't exactly explode. Now, it doesn't look like much is happening, but in fact, the hydrogen is burning with the oxygen inside that flask. The flame is actually invisible. I then made sure the seal was tight and allowed more hydrogen to flow through. After a minute or so, water begins to condense and drop into the glass. The condensed water from the burning of the hydrogen and oxygen is cooled with the aid of the tubing and the fan and then gets sucked through into the glass via the pump. And there we have it, that's how you make water on Mars. Now that I'm nice and rehydrated, it's time to do a little Martian cooking. Inside the hab there was a kitchen full of actual space food. Now lots of the space food actually needs to be rehydrated with water. Thankfully I've just created a bunch of water so let's use some to rehydrate these eggs for my Martian breakfast. Gordon Ramsay ain't got nothing on me. Now I've got some energy, let's finish the video with a little trip around the Martian terrain. Nice! my time on Mars. I'd like to thank all the cool people I met out in the Utah desert. 
I'd also like to thank 20th Century Fox for giving me the opportunity to go out there. Don't forget that the new film The Martian is out in cinemas now. I'll leave a link to the trailer down below. And other than that, I'll see you next time.